hello everyone welcome to my channel i hope everybody is doing well and safe at home so before starting today's video just wanted to give you a quick update that i have changed my channel name from let's go tech in a cloudy way to cloud for devops since we are already doing a lot of cloud tutorials lot of devops part i'll be going to include much more videos on different cloud vendors much more on the devops tools terraform ansible whatever i have learned in my entire experience i'll try to share as much as i can so that's a quick update plus there are like links to follow on my linkedin group or linkedin plus i'm also on udemy now and there is a facebook link as well listed over here now coming back to our agenda for today today it will be a quick cloud learning lab where we'll be going to configure how you can send your elastic load balancer logs to s3 bucket there are like two scenarios over here case one is like one to one mapping which means you, if you have hundreds of elbs running into your account you can send all the elbs to their dedicated s3 bucket like all the elb logs to their dedicated s3 bucket second scenario which is preferable for me if you are operating from let's say five six different region then you can send out the elb logs for each region to their dedicated bucket that will save you the cost as well and that will also enable the compliance mechanism of enabling the elb load balancer access log so these are the two scenarios that we'll be going to perform now in order to do that let's jump to our aws management console so this is my aws management console as you can see i have already created three load balancer two are alb's application load balancer and one is network load balancer why i have created network load balancer there is a reason for that because while doing the shipping of log of load balancer you have to create a bucket policy to make it more protective that's why nlb has different mechanism a bit different mechanism to send out a log as compared to alb i will show you how let me refresh this now the first scenario coming back to our presentation the first scenario is one to one mapping now in order to enable access log let's take a scenario where we have a load balancer now if you scroll it down there is an option to edit the attributes where we have an access log click on edit attributes and click enable now it's asking for the s3 location so if i go to my s3 bucket i have multiple buckets over here right one is for s3 elb log test and i can pick up any of the bucket now if you don't want like to use the existing bucket what you can do give the name of the bucket let's say test s3 elb logs that's my bucket name and i'll have amazon to create that location for me so click on create and click save what this will do in the background if your s3 bucket is unique in nature the naming convention is unique in nature then it will be able to create that bucket and send out all the log related to test alb or your application load balancer into that bucket so let's go to our s3 management console refresh and we should be having another bucket listed over here click here as you can see aws that's my account id that's the test log file it has created on behalf of us now if i go back to my permission section as you can see it already created a permission for me a bucket policy right because in order to interact one load balancer to a bucket you have to create a bucket policy otherwise you will not be able to send out or ship the log of your load balancer to your s3 bucket if you look at the bucket policy the statement is uh, is this one now principle is 127 now this is a dedicated id per region i'll share you the document also let me show you over here enable access log to your classic load balancer the process and the funder remain same now if you scroll it down you have the bucket policy as well and these are the account ids per region so that's 12731 for virginia and if i show you the bucket policy 12731 
this is my virginia bucket now what i am doing over here i am doing a put object so the policy that has been created and i'll be going to use the same same kind of policy so policy i am using over here is put the object whatever logs alb is creating let's put that as an object to the s3 bucket with bucket pull control permission and you can see rest of the other delivery log mechanism also listed over here with your s3 bucket location so whenever you will hit your alb all the logs will get listed within this bucket so that covers our first scenario where one to one mapping happens i am more interested towards making the second scenario to save the cost as well and let's say if we have a scenario where we are operating from five different region right within aws every region is having let's say 10 to 20 year load balancers so instead of creating and managing 20 buckets for each load balancer in each region which means 20 into 500 buckets instead of maintaining 100 buckets let's create one bucket per region because it's per region scenario that we are sending it just to segregate we don't want to mess up with the architecture instead we will be going to create one bucket per region and send all those 20 load balancer logs residing in virginia residing in frankfurt or any other region to their own bucket right so that will save us cost as well that will help us to manage our s3 bucket in a better way how can we do that so let's go to our bucket section again i'm going to use this one this bucket for sending out multiple elbs which includes network load balancer and application load balancer as well. Now, if I go to this one, test ALB, I don't have any uh, access log enabled and test NLB is also not having access log enabled. Now, what I have to do, let me quickly open a policy over here. I was creating the policy. Now let's look at the policy. It's the same policy that AWS has created on behalf of our first load balancer. I have copied the same one, but edited quite a bit. So if you look at, I'm using a system identifier in within the statement principle is this one. This ID is for Virginia and I'm get, doing a get bucket ACL for the new bucket that we'll be going to use. Now SID for here, the delivery log write written it has to be a unique otherwise you will get a warning that uh, the policy is not valid so let's have a unique system identifier that's why it is called a system identifier effect is allow principle i'm doing a delivery log dot amazon dot com and within the action i'm putting the object resource is it it's an arn of my s3 bucket and within that i'll be going to create folder so that one ELB can be segregated with other ELB and I have put a condition again the same one that bucket owner full control will be there. So let's go to our S3 bucket over here first and I'm going to create one thing. So this is test ALB2. Let's create, let's copy this and we'll be going to create a folder over here called test ALB2 and I'm going to enable the server side is encryption as well. So that's a bucket for my test ALB log. What about test NLB? Can we do that? Yes, we can. So let's go to bucket again and create another folder for test NLB server side encryption enabled. So ALB log will go to the ALB and NLB log will go to the NLB benefit of doing this we are not going to maintain and manage two different buckets for the two different load balancer okay let's go to the permission section so as you can see the bucket policy is blank this is totally a new bucket so i don't have any bucket policy in order to update this bucket policy to take the load balancer logs what we have to do click on edit now here we are going to copy and paste our policy now let's see what we have to remove it from here right statement that's my bucket now here i have to use the folder that i have created one for network load balancer so this is my network load balancer the same bucket is there 
nothing else has to be changed over here and I don't want this section this is not required as you can see I'm using a system identifier which is a statement it can be anything which has to be unique effect is allowed this is for our network load balancer and this is for our application load balancer the second one that we'll be going to apply which is test ALB2 now let's edit this particular part as well and here we are done click on save if everything is good we should be able to do that okay first byte must be curly braces okay there is space over here click save changes and there is no issue with the policy again if you want to cross verify whether your policy is properly formatted in a json format then there is a link that i use json lint validator that's basically validate my json scripts okay now coming back to the object the next part we have to allow our load balancer to send log to these two objects these two folders what we have to do let's go to the load balancer again click on edit attribute this is my what application load balancer click on enable access since i don't want amazon to create a bucket for me i want the existing bucket to be used to send out a log for me let me remove this this is not required and click on save access denied for check the s3 bucket permission okay so there must be something we have not done correctly in giving the permission test alb2 okay let's see the bucket permission again edit now here what we are doing uh, that's our s3 elb log that's a bucket name that's correct and elb test nlb okay the account id is actually wrong i was using for my other account id so that has to be changed and that's where you have to be very careful while writing the policy right so we we had done mistakes right okay which is good for us now going back to load balancer again and we'll do the same stuff again nlb oh sorry this is alb copy go back to alb and paste it remove this one click save yep we are able to save the data can we do it for the network load balancer as well let's see we will we already have copied this instead of test alb2 we'll have nlb over here and click save bingo so two of the load balancers are going to the same bucket now let me go back over here refresh it since we don't have any data so it should not be going to create any specific logs except the test one it will create a test one what it was what it created for the first bucket okay as you can see the path that we have given it's giving us the same the account id and here we go elb test log that's for your load balancer okay now can we edit this one as well yes we can but we have to update the policy so in order to do that what basically i do i go to the bucket section permission and click on edit here you can do one thing copy paste this section and change this number so let me copy over here and paste it or you can what you can do you can click on add a new statement change all these values and click save it will do the job for you so for me this is an easy part to do it but you have to you have to be very careful while writing the policy the syntax and everything now this statement has to be unique as i said and here instead of test alb i'll do test alb and 
copy paste and save the changes let's try this one okay go to the object obviously you have to create a folder because we don't have that folder created test alb copy go back to the bucket uh, sorry not the bucket load balancer edit the attribute as you can see we already we are already sending that log to a different bucket but we don't want to send that log to a different bucket let's do for the same bucket save it and here we go all three load balancers are sending the log to the same bucket with the three different folders dedicated to their load balancers so that's how you can be more manageable when it comes to s3 bucket instead of maintaining and managing hundreds of bucket why can't we maintain four or five different bucket with all the load balancer logs sending to the same location that will help you to reduce the cost as well and less management so i hope this clears a lot in terms of how you can manage these scenarios I prefer to go with case two where many to one mapping comes into picture, multiple ELB sending to one bucket per region. If you're operating from different region within AWS, this gives you a better scenario to manage the cost as well as the infrastructure. So play around with your environment, show it to the management, show the benefit out of it. If you're facing an issue, please out a comment in comment section. I'll be there to help you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.